Oh, hi, I'm the heretic. Among the many stories not getting the recognition they deserve, Hungary is facing Article 7 sanctions from the European Union. So what does this mean? What is Article 7? It's part of the Treaty of the European Union, ratified in 2007, that is intended to punish countries engaged in human rights violations. Now what human rights violations Hungary committed, we'll get to later. The history of Article 7 is that in the 90s, when former Warsaw Pact nations like Poland or Latvia attempted to join the EU, it was feared they'd slip right back into being ruthless, horribly abusive Soviet puppet governments, minus the Soviet puppet part. As I'm sure you're aware, the Soviet Union was collapsing at this time. If the EU believes that a country is behaving in ways that don't conform to EU values, which are detailed in Article 2, sort of, they will invoke Article 7, and the European Union Parliament will vote to punish the offending nation until the undesired behavior is rectified. The primary effect of Article 7 is to strip the offending country of their privilege to vote in said Parliament. The intent is to prevent authoritarian states, that is to say overtly authoritarian states, from voting for more authoritarianism in EU Parliament, even though government can only become more authoritarian and the EU is already incredibly authoritarian. In order to do this, one third of member states, or the European Commission, or the Parliament, must identify a breach of European values. Then, two thirds of Parliament needs to approve. At this point, the effect is little more than a slap on the wrist, but it's meant to be a warning. Persistent violations of European values warns the Parliament to vote to suspend the offending country's ability to vote in the European Union. Now, why would they deploy this against Hungary, you might be asking? Do their judges condemn toddlers to death because said judge has a personal dislike for the family's attorney? No! Only Britain does that. Does Hungary use the military might to violently overthrow regimes that, though repressive, keep their nations from being overrun by literal slavers? No. That's France. How about plotting to drug millions of people and financing literal terrorist organizations? No, that's Germany. So what did Hungary do? Fortunately, it's all plainly illustrated in the Sargentini Report, written by Judith Sargentini to recommend Article 7 procedures against Hungary. It explains that the Hungarian constitution is being amended in ways they don't like how Hungarian voters are exposed to xenophobic and intimidating rhetoric, and how let's stop Brussels was a thing, and that made them feel sad. Now, the report does bring up a lot of other issues, namely Hungary's potential NSA-style surveillance state, and it's hilarious that they brought up freedom of association as well, since all Europeans are forced to associate with the state. The whole report itself, however, is mealy-mouthed, passive-voiced nothingness that makes trying to find an argument as difficult as it is to form a snowball out of sand. In its concluding observations on 5th of April 2018, the UN Human Rights Committee expressed regret that patriarchal stereotyped attitudes still prevail in Hungary with respect to the position of women in society. Oh, they expressed regret, did they? Well, I'd better upend hundreds of years of historical, societal, and cultural development because some bureaucrats had their fifis hurt. In its concluding observations on the 5th of April 2018, the UN Human Rights Committee expressed concerns that the Constitution ban on discrimination does not explicitly list sexual orientation and gender identity among the grounds of discrimination in its restrictive definition of family could give rise to discrimination as it does not encompass certain types of family arrangements, including same-sex couples. Yeah, you banned discrimination, you just didn't ban it hard enough. Yeah, this whole reasoning that they're presenting is transparently false, as there's very little here, I doubt Germany alone, isn't also doing on a daily basis. No, if you want honesty and what this is actually about, go to page 17. Yeah, you know you're in for a good time. So briefly speaking, in 2015, Hungary raised a wall on its border with Serbia and Croatia to slow the tide of migrants entering the country. However, this would not do for the globalist faction of the priesthood of statism, who needed migrants to pay taxes to support aging pensioners and needing voting blocks to ensure their agenda could be secured for elections to come. For Hungary's resistance, for the audacity 
of having refused EU migrant quotas in a 2016 referendum, the EU being beaten by 98%, and for the crime of having a thought criminal as head of state, and for the sheer callousness of pushing literal Nazi collaborator George Soros and his organizations out of the country, they must be punished. In this case, making it so when the bigger coercive monopoly seeks to impose themselves on their vassal, Hungary can't even say they're represented. I mean, yeah, they only had 2% of the votes in EU Parliament, so they didn't really have any votes to begin with. But at least now they're abandoning the pretense of democracy, and it is laid bare for all to see. It will galvanize Hungarians to want to leave the EU. All because Hungary doesn't want third world migrants who are only there to take advantage of the welfare state and will just make their towns and cities uninhabitable. Then again, Hungary didn't make this decision. Its coercive monopoly imposed it upon them, preventing voluntary association with migrants, so make of that what you will. Then again, the welfare state and government control of roads and thoroughways makes open borders a form of forced association. There really is no form of statist borders that respects free association, is there? Anyways, now comes the all-important question. Why does this matter? Why am I, an American reptile, talking about a European matter? Because this gives us a glimpse at the truth of our situation and the nature of democracy. It's already difficult to argue for democracy, as I am no more justified in forcing you to do something against your will, then if I say I voted for you to do it, but there are people who will argue that our ability to vote gives us as individuals some control over the government. What Hungary is showing us is that people are only able to vote at all because they permit you to, and they can take that away at any time for whatever reason they wish. Say your beliefs become inconvenient, or you're a member of the wrong group. Suppose the alt-right strips women of the right to vote to stop the welfare state, or progressives decide that gun owners shouldn't be able to vote either for everybody's safety. Your ability to vote is up for a vote, and they will do so for arbitrary reasons. Don't believe me? This whole thing hinges on Hungary being in violation of Article 2. So it's time we ask, what is Article 2? The Union is founded on the values of respect for human dignity, freedom, democracy, equality, the rule of law, and respect for human rights, including the rights of persons belonging to minorities. These values are common to the member states in a society in which pluralism, non-discrimination, tolerance, justice, solidarity, and equality between women and men prevail. Wait, women and men? What about transgender, non-binary, quadrosexual demi-dragons? Bigots. This is just a word salad of adjectives that sound nice and don't define their terms. Human dignity? Equality? Solidarity? Justice? And yet somehow, the EU can derive laws from these. There's no principles here, no logical proof or intent. It's completely up to the subjective intent of the priesthood of statism, and it will be used against you whenever they feel like it. The reason we can never vote the state out of existence is because they will suspend your right to vote when it becomes inconvenient. Questions? Comments? Critique? What do you think about what's going on in Hungary? Did I just waste your time with something that doesn't really apply to Americans? Leave a comment below. Support me through Patreon. Like, share, and subscribe to become a heretic today.